What is up, everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. This is Searching for Hits with Eric and I am Eric. And today, we are going to be doing a face-off Friday with three mega boxes that I picked up off Walmart's website. They are all on sale or were at the time of purchase about a week and a half ago. We have a 2023 Topps Holiday mega box with a guaranteed hit inside and I apologize about that shadow uh, filming a little bit late at night so I don't have the proper uh, additional lighting available. Uh, I do have a mega box of 2021 Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary that they had for half price on Walmart's website. Nine packs of four cards, I believe, in this box. And a 2023... Chronicles Mega Box with a guaranteed hit. So we're going to have at least two hits. I'm hoping for three in total. Um, as per usual, if you haven't seen my face-off videos, I will predict the winner or best value as they were all about the same price. Um, I am going to go with Chronicles number one. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Platinum Anniversary number two. I'm feeling a good a good auto in there maybe. And I'm going to put Holiday in third spot. So we will start with Holiday. See what we can find in here. Pick out the top cards. And move on to Chrome Platinum Anniversary. And then Chronicles. And see which one I think is the best value. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Love to have you along for more videos. As I am going to try and post a bit more often now. Get this opened up. If I remember correctly, you get a, a hit in here. You also get a an ornament. And we'll be looking for those short prints and super short prints. As well as the elusive SSP. There we go. There's our ornament. It's going to be a Showtime. Shohei Otani. Christmas tree ornament. Pretty cool right there. Shohei ornament. Who knows? Maybe that'll make my top pile. So, good amount of cards in here. Get all these packs out of here. Ten cards per pack. I believe it's ten packs in the box. If I'm not mistaken. Anyway, we'll figure it out. All right. Like I said, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. Hit that like button as well. And hit that uh, comment section. Let me know which you think is the best mega box of the three. There we go. Ten cards per pack. Let's see what we got. We are starting off with a rookie card, Oswaldo Cabrera. Same tops flagship design, except some snowflakes going on. There's a Grayson Rodriguez. Do like that card. We'll take that. That'll go in the maybe pile. Shea Langoliers. Joey Votto. And we have our first metallic snowflake. It's going to be a Vladdy. So... We'll put that in our maybe pile. Put the Grayson in there. Also got to keep our eyes out for those, those short prints there. Brian Reynolds. Matt McLean. CJ Abrams. Looking for those snowballs. Looking for those Santa Claus hats and so forth. Brendan Donovan and a J Rod. So we'll put our rookies aside. Try to keep somewhat organized here. Fear that might be impossible, so we'll clean that up later. Next pack up. We got Brett Beatty, 
Mets rookie and a Gunnar Henderson. So we're getting all the top rookies so far. We got a Shohei Otani, Cedric Mullins, Trevor Story, Kelnick, Bobby Miller. I thought that might have been some sort of a short print with that blue, but that is just his glove. Braden Shoemake, Nolan Arenado, and Anthony Rizzo. We'll finish it off. All right, pack number three. As I almost knocked the camera over. Jonathan India, former Rookie of the Year. Chris Bryant. Logan O'Hoppy. Good rookie there. Ken Waldachuk. We got our next Metallic Snowflake. It's Jock Peterson. Joe Ryan. Corbin Burns. Bobby Witt. Blackman. And another Jock Peterson. So. Not much else going on in that pack. Pack number four, I believe. Oscar Colas. Brian Bello. There's Corbin Carroll. Rookie of the Year. Simeon Woods Richardson. Ronald Acuna Jr. Seeger. There's Vladdy. Yuri Perez. Patrick Bailey. And Garrett Cole. So still looking for our first short print or super short print. Pack number five, maybe. Lost track already. Jorge Mateo. Luis Robert, Jordan Walker, another top rookie, and of course our short print, or at least our first short print, is going to be a Wander Franco. As you can see, he's got, got some Christmas lights around his neck, so unfortunately it is Wander Franco, but we do have a metallic snowflake Anthony Volpe rookie card. That's a nice one right there. We'll take that. We're going to put that right in our number one slot for now. Um, don't know what that's worth. Metallic pa Snowflake Parallels, usually just a few bucks, but um, Anthony Volpe rookie Metallic Snowflake. Probably 10, 15 bucks raw take a look at it a little closer. Maybe it'll get sent out to PSA for grading. Masataka Yoshida. Another nice rookie right there. We have our hit coming up. It is going to be it is going to be a Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. Um, not the biggest name on the relic checklist, but it is a piece of Jay Cronenworth's bat, so it'll probably make the top five. It is a hit, um, just not a very exciting one. All right, we got three, four packs, three packs, four packs to go. Let's see if we can pull another short print. Out of the mega box here, Anthony Santander, Patrick Wisdom, I had to double check that to see if it was a short print of some sort, Chris Sale, James Outman's a good one. Corey Seeger, Metallic Snowflake, Adolis Garcia, showing off the muscles, 
Kbert Ruiz. You gotta watch for these uh, these short prints. They'll sneak up on you sometimes. O'Neill Cruz. Didn't see anything else going on. Austin Riley. There's Adley Rushman. And Miguel Vargas, another good one. Zach Nito, another good one. So we're getting all the good rookies. Wilson Contreras. Ryan McMahon. Making an awkward flip there. Sandy Alcantara. Scherzer. And Bryce Harper screaming in excitement. Two packs to go. Let's see if we can find just one more short print. <clears throat> Matthew Lipitor. Jake McCarthy. Aloy Jimenez. Stephen Kwan. Mark Vientos. Another nice metallic snowflake rookie card I'll take that xander bogarts brandon lau george kirby brian rochio and casey schmidt so not much else happening in there which brings us to our last pack of holiday There's Spencer Steer, another good rookie, Ezekiel Tovar. Had a great spring training. Corey Jolks. Taj Bradley. There we go. There's another short print. It is Byron Buxton holding a candy cane. Um, not sure if I can get close enough here. To see it is not focusing in but I think this one might be the SSP so that's that's pretty cool at least Byron Buxton Let's see if there's anything else in here Frankie Lindor Woodruff Jordan Alvarez and Torkelson so not too bad of a box, I do say so myself. Love to hear your feedback, so leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button for me. Um, but let's uh, let's go ahead and, and set our our holiday representation at least. We're gonna say that Volpe is number one, that metallic snowflake Anthony Volpe. Besides that, we got the short print. We got a bunch of rookies. Oh, we got that short print. Corbin Carroll. Oh, boy. So, we'll say... And, and I could be completely wrong here. I think that's a super short print. I really do. So I'm going to put that put that next to the Volpe. I'm going to put the Cronenworth Relic next. I'm going to say the Corbin Carroll and then the Vientos. <clears throat> um, you know, one might argue that the, uh, the short print Wander, but um, I don't know, these cards are so, so, so down in terms of value for for obvious reasons. So that's what we're going to go with. <clears throat> Let's see if Platinum Anniversary can put up a better offering than what we got from Holiday. Not a bad lineup for Holiday. Um, might even be in the positives uh, if that is, in fact, the super short print. Um 
Might have came out ahead in that one. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. 36 total cards in Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. This is the 2021 version, which is pretty cool. I do like this. Uh, nine packs in total. I'm hoping to get at least a few parallels in here and maybe a hit. Let's see. There's our packs. Nothing else in the box. Here we go. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. We are starting it off with a <clears throat> with a parallel. It's gonna be a nice blue speckle. You Darvish, and that'll be numbered out of one ninety nine. So first card out one seventy two out of one ninety nine on the you Darvish. We have Jaimir. Candelario, we got Patrick Weigel, rookie card, and a J.D. Davis, who I believe was just released and looking for work. So <clears throat> we'll put that numbered card. That very well might make the top five. Next pack up, we have the kid, Ken Griffey Jr., one of my favorite all-time players. Nice photo there. We got Joey Lucchese. And we're looking for blue ink because that means an autograph. Uh, Carlos Carrasco. And we have a prism refractor of Kevin Biggio. Kind of off-center, though. Yuck. Next pack up. German Marquez. Will Myers getting a card. Earl Weaver, all-time great manager. And a Sandy Alcantara refractor. Going to put the refractor in the maybe pile as we haven't gotten much so far. Hopefully that will change. Here's our next pack. We got the Hawk, Andre Dawson, Clayton Kershaw, Lou Gehrig, and Byron Buxton. We just pulled his short print. But again, not a whole lot happening there. We are about halfway through this mega box of Platinum Anniversary. Still have... Chronicles to come. There's Luis Campusano. It's a rookie card at least. We'll put that aside. Joe Torre. Hall of Fame manager. Marwin Gonzalez. And a Chris Davis Prism Refractor. Next pack up here. <clears throat> we got Gaylord Perry. Jeter. Nice looking card right there. Kevin Kiermeyer and a blue Pat or Pete Fairbanks on the blue prism, which is not numbered. So just three packs to go. Platinum Anniversary, not much to show for this box so far. Sparky Anderson getting a card. Hall of Fame manager as well. Neon Dion Sanders. Victor Robles. And Jordan Yamamoto. Dick Allen. I do love the look of these cards. 
Gregory Polanco, Justin Upton, and a Jordan Alvarez refractor. And our final pack of Platinum Anniversary. Dalton Jeffries, Dave Parker, Joe Carter, Don Davishad. So it is safe to say that holiday 2023 has crushed Platinum Anniversary. So we got virtually nothing out of this except a numbered U Darvish and a few <clears throat> lower level rookies. So not exciting there. But we picked Chronicles to win, so let's open up the Chronicles box and see what we have. Just a reminder, hit that subscribe button, <clears throat> hit that like button, help grow the channel, and leave a comment. Let me know which box you think is the best. I picked Chronicles. Chronicles does have a guaranteed hit in here. <clears throat> More often than not, it's a relic, but maybe we'll get lucky, pull an autograph. It will be all retired players and prospects due to the Panini licensing or lack thereof. And there's our packs. <clears throat> all right, here we go. <clears throat> Panini Chronicles. First pack up, we have Pee Wee Reese, Hall of Famer, Brooklyn Dodger, Robin Ventura, Paul Wehner, Thomas Harrington, prospect for the Respect for the Pirates, I believe. That's a vector style card. Can't read the handwriting. Trist oh, Tristan Vreeling. Prospect card. Griff McGarry. We got an upside down Barry Larkin because it is a Zenith. Would have been nice if that was our autograph. And a Jason Dominguez. X-Fractor, it looks like. I forgot what they call theirs, but that is not a bad card right there. <clears throat> Next pack up. Just six packs of eight cards per pack in Chronicles. Brian Ramos. Prospect for the White Sox. Tim McCarver, who passed away last year, I believe. Jake Bennett, Christian Hernandez, who was a top tier prospect a couple of years ago, Jason or Jacob Reimer, Mets prospect. There's another Dominguez. And we have Yanir Diaz, Houston Astros XR. Rookie, not too bad right there. As well as Jeff Bagwell, Mosaic. One hit guaranteed somewhere in here. On average, they always make sure to put that on average on the box just to play it safe and protect themselves a bit. All right, we have Johnny Mize on top. Buster Posey, Chronicles. Tony Perez, Satchel Page, a nice run of Hall of Famers there. Evan Carter, very nice. Evan Carter, one of the big names to find in this release, Babe Ruth. We have a clear vision of Ryan Zimmerman and Francisco Alvarez. 
another of the top names, and that is a certified. Nice card right there. May very well make the top five. <clears throat> Jim Gilliam. Ivan Melendez, Jet Williams, another Mets prospect there. I like the pack from that standpoint. There's Ron Santo, or the box. Stan the Man Musial. Pat Gillick. An executive card right there. That's interesting. Catfish Hunter. Chronicles Elite. And a Cal Ripken Jr. No numbered cards yet. Two packs to go. One of these is going to have a hit in it. Let's see which one it'll be and what the hit is going to be. Ben Sheets. Nice picture from the 90s and 2000s. Richie Ashburn. William Kempner. Michael Bush. Out in L.A. Another nice rookie there. Drake Baldwin. Put those in our rookie slash maybe pile, I guess. Uh, Curtis Mead, another nice prospect out in Tampa Bay. Uh, we have a Ben Sheets Recon card. And Colson Montgomery Crusade. So it comes down to this last pack. Hopefully there's a hit in here. And hopefully it's a big time one. Thanks so much for watching. Let's see if we can walk it off with something exciting. We're starting it off with Jackson Ferris. Yogi Berra. Justin Campbell. Ted Williams. Drew Jones, a good one. And we have one of those relics, unfortunately. It is... A gold standard swatch of Luis Matos. Luis Matos out in San Francisco. Little piece of his jersey. So let's see what else we got in here. We have Pete Crow Armstrong XR and a certified Kyle Manzardo. Um, I think it's safe to say that Holiday has taken it which I picked to come in third. Um, no matter what you grab out of here in terms of rookies, it's it's not going to touch what we pulled out of out of Topps Holiday. Uh, don't get me wrong, some nice cards. I like that. I like the Drew Jones. I like the Manzardo. I certainly like the Francisco Alvarez. Uh, the Evan Carter is a good one. But value-wise, don't think it's going to be particularly close. Leave a, a comment. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. But I'm going to call this a victory for Topps Holiday. Thanks so much for watching. And we will see you next time on Searching for Hits with Eric. Take care, everybody.